Hi guys, I'm Mary Richardson. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, how does self-doubt or just doubting, how does it affect your thinking? When we doubt something, we doubt not the thing, but we doubt ourselves, doubt our ability to achieve it, doubt our ability to be successful, and we're remaining in a, a, a limbo, a type of limbo between one decision and another, which is a sign of anxiety. Doubt is really a, a symptom of anxiety. Instead of making a decision, this person lives in indecision. They fear not, they fear failure, they feel, fear success. It could be either one of these. So they'd rather not make a decision than make the wrong decision. But what they're not saying is that they are going to make any decision the wrong decision. And I've seen this with uh, people that believe that they don't have the ability to choose a right employer. They're partially right. This person is probably wanting to start their own business, so there is no right employer. So they're going to always doubt their ability to choose the right employer. Um, that's just a quick example. Self-doubt though can really hold you back when you second guess yourself after every decision and you're, you become like this critical parent persona that you're constantly criticizing yourself for making any decision. Any decision you make always is followed up with being critical of yourself. Oh, I made the wrong decision again. Oh, this happened again. Oh, and what you're telling yourself is that you don't have the ability to make a good decision. So you're chipping away at your confidence and you're increasing your self-doubt. And now you're putting yourself in a place of remaining indecisive because who would want to make a decision when you're going to be pummeled with criticism? And that can probably go back to something you experienced early in life. What you have to do is rein in that critical part of yourself and start squashing that thought process. Every decision will have some good things about it and bad things about it, and that's logic. But in that moment, you're gonna only look at the negative things of that decision. And that can become a habit. So if you wanna overcome it, a good place to start is realizing the decision you're about to make, make it a positive one, something that can help you, something that, you know, there are great things like self-care, exercise, um, obviously see your doctor before you start an exercise program. But my point is, when you're afraid to make any decision, you're telling yourself you are being too critical. And that's where you can start to change and transform. I hope this helped you. My link is in the bio. I'm Mary Richardson. I help you get unstuck. Don't forget to like and subscribe.